the Overwatch Halloween event simply dubbed Halloween Terror 2017 is now live, and players are eagerly opening up their loot boxes like kids going through a hoard of candy collected while trick-or-treating. Among other spooky treasures, Halloween Terror 2017 adds eight new skins to the game. Reddit user Yurnam has collected these in a comprehensive post, so let's take a look. Brit and Anna was Overwatch's first post-release hero a sniper who could heal her allies and put her enemies into a deep sleep from afar. I'm not sure how well that fits with dressing up like a pirate thematically, but there is no denying she looks rad. Her stylish boots, bandana, and parrot all give her a cool flair, and I love that her rifle now has a bayonet. Van Helsing McCree admit, IDIDNT think Blizzard would outright call this skin Van Helsing. The illusion is pretty clear, as McCree's Halloween look mirrors more contemporary depictions of the famed character, but I thought the company would go with something more generic like Monster Hunter McCree. Kudos for giving a nod to literature's most famous vampire hunter, and I really dig his glowy arm. Jiangxi Mei Overwatch tends to stay pretty true to a character's national history, so it's pretty cool that Mei who is Chinese gets a uniquely Chinese skin. The Jiangxi could be summarized as Chinese vampire, but they differ in a few ways from what we typically think of when we hear the word vampire. A few examples they hop, they siphon a person's life force instead of drinking blood, and they take decades to be raised from the dead, hence the older style of clothing. There's not many Jiangxi seen outside Asia in popular culture, though H.C. Enko from Darkstalkers is also based on this myth. Dracula, a reaper again, kinda surprised Blizzard went with the proper noun here, though I think ITD be pretty difficult to find a depiction of Dracula that comes close to Reaper's outfit. That said, I like the little details here Reaper's vest, jacket, and the frills around his wrist give everyone's favorite edgelord a taste of refinement and class. Dragon Symmetra Il Symmetra needs is a big metal jaw and shell because playing as one of Blizzard's own winged fire breathers, Deathwing. Which is kind of funny because the company just gave DVA a Deathwing-themed skin in Heroes of the Storm. Anyway, I'm happy to see this in my opinion underappreciated hero get some love, and the wings functioning as a skirt is a nice touch. Viking Torbjorni admit, I wasnt crazy about this skin. Compared to the others, it's just a bit toned down. At least, that's what I thought, until I noticed that Torbjorn's claw hand is a freaking bear head like you'd see at the front of an imposing Viking ship. I'm not sure what use those lights would be on his old style hammer, but that's the Overwatch aesthetic. Totally 80s series. I love everything about this. The garish colors, the let's get physical ripped shirt, the bright neon ad leopard print leotard worn under Asaria's armor, the headband and metal hair, and most of all, the bunched up socks layered over her massive boots. It's not as frightening as some of the others but Halloween ISNT all about the scares. Cultist Zenyatta another personal favorite, if only because I love HP Lovecraft. Zenyatta's Cthulhu face is cool enough, but then you notice he's got little suckers on his feet which now look more like tentacles, plus the detailing on his robes, and the fact that his orbs are now in human eyeballs all add up to a wonderfully cohesive and eerie look for the robotic support hero. Experience tranquility, indeed. What do you think who's your favorite?